Hey everybody, it's Melissa. I was debating on making this video in the first place because out of all of the different segments that I do on this channel, this is probably the most popular in terms of people not wanting me to talk about fragrances I don't like. I'd receive comments from people saying, you should only talk about stuff that you like, let's not be negative. But the thing is, there's gotta be balance, right? I gotta share with y'all what I wouldn't wear and what I don't like on myself. And if you like these, that's totally fine, all right? But I'm totally gonna keep this segment in because I can't just talk about, you know, stuff I like, because that's just, you know, like, because that's not the case all the time, you know what I mean? So anyways, we are gonna start with Isola Blue by Raja Parfums, all right? So this is Oligarch repackaged with a new name. And look, I know that this is like a niche head's wet dream. A lot of people like fragrances like this in the fragrance community, but it it just, it's, it's smooth, all right? It's like a smooth green fragrance, but it still gives me that antique shop vibe. And for that reason, I don't find it to be wearable on myself. Type of person I see this on, most likely a guy um, who's middle-aged that collects fragrances. That is like the only type of demographic that I see, even maybe even younger guys as well, but people that already have an established fragrance collection. I don't see this being something in someone's collection where they only have five fragrances or less, or even well, 10 fragrances or less is stretching it, but this isn't like a staple that a majority of people have where you go into their house and they're like, oh yeah, these are my scents and you'll see a solo blue. I know that it's newer, but it also still has that scent profile that doesn't, it's not as great to the general public when they smell it. Again, this is for like the fragrance fanatics. And shout out to Raja Parfums for sending me like their fragrances and being open to hearing my honest critique of them. I, I've always appreciated that about the brand. Um, so I appreciate you sending it, but yeah, this is just, it's not, it's not my jam at all. Next up, we have got Chaos by Virtus Paris. Now, I tried this maybe four days ago or five days ago, something like that. And this scent is just... I've realized that I am not a fan of the combination of these three notes. Patchouli, Oak Moss, and Ambergris. Those three, when they are in the fragrance, specifically like in the base of a fragrance... I just cannot get with it. And on top of that, if it has C notes, like if it's supposed to be like a marine aromatic type of scent, and then it has those three notes, it is just something that I know for a fact I am not gonna get with, and it's just not my jam. And an example of that is Sexy Eyes by Black Cliff. Now, some people consider that DNA or this DNA to be like eggy, like, kind of smelling like eggshells or like asphalt. That's what some people have told me. Now, I don't get asphalt. Um, maybe it's more of like a, like a sulfur smell. That's, I can see that. But for me, it, it like I've said so many times, y'all, it just smells like somebody that's already sweating and then they try to throw on a fresh fragrance to cover up the smell of their BO. That is the vibe I get from fragrances like this. I think... Something in common that all of these scents have is that they do well in the niche fragrance community or just in the fragrance community in general. These are things that you're not really going to hear people dog on as much um, because, you know, they're like, oh, like this is this is beautiful. It's beautifully blended. It's so complex, um, but they don't really do well out there. You know what I mean? Online on the Internet, when you're talking to your fragrance friends, yeah, they're going to they're going to love it. Facebook groups are probably going to love these scents. Um, but for me, I don't like, if I smell this on somebody passing by, I just kind of be like, I, I might hold my breath a little bit. Like if I'm having a conversation with them, just because this, this scent profile, it just puts me off. And I will say I did wash this off my arm. I, at least I attempted to, and it still stayed on for over 10 hours on me. So performance here is not an issue. And I've always found that funny that with the fragrances I don't like, they perform really well. I don't understand it, all right? But yeah, longevity is just, is king with this scent. All right, the next one is <laughs> Tear the Hermes. Now, this is so funny to me because 
when I talked about this fragrance and when I actually did my first impression of it, I was not really a fan of the scent. In the air, I was like, okay, all right. And then when I, just, when I smelled it up close, it's it's similar to Oligarch or um, Isola Blue, right? It has that type of DNA. It's a little bit rough around the edges at first, then it gets like smooth as it dries down. This is the epitome of like, if you are a guy that's hanging out with just a bunch of guys, Terra Hermes. The dudes love this fragrance. I thought it was so funny because if you go in that video in the comment section, Nearly every single guy's like, no, you're wrong. This is a masterpiece. This is lovely. And the only people that were really disagreeing or that agreed with me were girls that were just like, oh yeah, like this is just not it, right? But I could see this as, again, a middle-aged guy and maybe his wife would like it on him, right? Now, for me, of course, like I wouldn't wear this. It's, it's too masculine for me. I honestly wouldn't even give it to my dad uh, just because like it's not like... I mean, he's he's rocking Percival. He smells great. He's getting a ton of compliments on Percival, by the way. Like, that thing. Like, my mom loves it on him, but also everyone's just like, yeah, man, like, that smells good. Like, they love it. Um, but Terre de Hermes is definitely of, like, a fragrance guy's scent. All right? Now, that's not to say that if you wore this around, like, a bunch of women, it would get the same reaction as wearing this around a bunch of guys, right? But I think that the best scenario to wear this in is if you are getting dressed up, you can see the sort of classiness with it. I don't see this as a teenager fragrance. I am going to say that right off the bat. I see this as a more mature scent. But I do know that just guys in general, especially like in their 20s, they probably will love on this scent. So of course, at the end of the day, you have to wear what you like. All right, regardless of what I say or what other people online or in person are telling you, if you like Terra de Hermes, wear it. For me... I don't like this fragrance. And people have been asking, they're like, you really got to give it another try. Did you try it again? And I have, and my answer has been the same. I still don't like it. And they're like, well, maybe you got to wear it like this or wear it like that. Um, and I, to me, I don't think it's a skin chemistry thing. I know the DNA of these fragrances pretty well. Um, and even I did spray it on a guy, actually. Same thing for me. It was just like, it just kind of gave me grandpa vibes, you know? And like I said in my previous videos, it also kind of, if I had to give another type of person, it'd be like people that like to go to museums and look at art stuff. And it just, like I said, it has that, that old antique shop vibe. And there's nothing wrong with museums. I love museums. That stuff is really cool. Like cool, cool. Um, art shows, great, right? But it's just like, that is, that is hair de Hermes to me. I just, I could not get with it. It's just so, and I've had other people smell this fragrance because I'm like, maybe it's just me. So I had other people around me smell it. Mainly women all felt the same way. They're like, that kind of smells like a grandpa. They're like, oh, I don't like that. It just was not a sexy scent. Even the guys around me were just like, eh, about it. But I think it's also because, you know, they've smelled a lot of my fragrances. So they're kind of like, in their own way, they, you know, like they've smelled enough where they're like, okay, yeah, like this is definitely one of the better ones that you've, that you've had me smell. But for the most part, Whenever I have people around me smell a new fragrance, a lot of those scents fall mid-tier where it's just like, eh, it's okay. And for the guys, that was the reaction that Terra de Hermes was giving. Um, but again, I do think this would be lovely in a suit. Lovely dressed up if you're the type of person for it, but it's just not my cup of tea. I'm sorry to break it to you, but I am not gonna, I'm not gonna feel bad about not liking this fragrance, even though a bunch of you guys like it, all right? Now the last one is... Elysium O Intense. All right, again, shout out Raja Parfums for sending me this fragrance, but the OG Elysium Parfum Cologne is superior, just in smell to me. All right, now I had anticipated that Elysium O Intense would just be like the OG Elysium on steroids. I was like, oh, this thing is gonna, like all those people that were talking about the crap longevity on the regular Elysium, they're like, this is gonna put that debate to bed. And you know what? It did. The longevity here is, it is noticeable at that six hour mark. Um, it's not as like powerful as Chaos by Virtus Paris, but it's definitely more noticeable and it lasts longer than the original. But smell wise, there were some parts of the original Elysium, but it, 
for the most part, it, it had like this sort of green smell to it that gives me mature, like, like middle-aged men vibes. And I was like, damn, like I was like, I, this one, I really tried giving more wares to. All right, like I did because you know how much I love Elysium. But it just, it's not, it's not, I like the other one a lot better. Like I, I was kind of disappointed. So now I really want to try the Elysium Pour Homme, like the Parfum version of the fragrance because I've heard great things about that. But I was so, I think the reason this let me down is because I was really excited for it. Because my, my bar for this fragrance was pretty high. My expectations were pretty high because I already know that I love the DNA. And I feel like if I've never smelled Elysium before, then this fragrance, yeah, this fragrance would probably still be on the list, but I wouldn't dislike it as much. I just think because the OG was something that I would wear nearly every day, I was alternating that, salt and pepper, then at nighttime, Dior Homme. Like those were like my three and now like there's been some changes because of some newer fragrances that came in that I've been using every day since. But the intense longevity, good, but the smell of it, I just, I wanted more Elysium cologne. Like that's what I wanted from this fragrance, but it just, it kind of like had a little bit of that vibe or like that smell of, you know, when it's a hot day at the park and you're next to a bush and it has that sort of smell, like a, that green smell just, wafting in the air it was like the original mix with that but more of that you know what i'm saying so still good but not the elite superstar fragrance i needed it to be all right so i'm not a hater i'm not a hater on this scent but it's just like i was a bit let down i can't lie to you i was a bit let down all right anyways that's what it is. These are the four fragrances that I wasn't really jamming with that I recently tried. And let me know in the comment section if you like any of these. I'm going to assume a lot of you love Terra Hermes. All right, I can, I'll put money on it. Like 90% of you are like, oh, Terra Hermes, like it's so good. I know out of all of these, that's probably the favorite. And if you like Terra Hermes, you're going to love Isola Blue. I will tell you that right now. And that's something, this is something that I enjoy about this channel and about people that have messaged me is they're like, Melissa, you and I have such different taste that I watch your videos to see what you don't like because I know that I love that. And I'm like, I come, I love the fact that, you know, that we kind of have that dynamic going on. You know what I mean? So even though I'm not a fan of these scents, I am telling you right now, if you like Terre Hermes, you're going to like Isola Blue. If you like Isola Blue and it's too pricey, just get Terre de Hermes. You're going to be fine. All right. Anyways. I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.